Hi, I'm Kelly Crane. I'm a pulmonary and critical care fellow. Today I'm going to teach you how to handle a patient who's in respiratory distress who has a tracheostomy. The first thing you're going to do when you walk in the room is realize whether or not the tracheostomy has a cuff. And that's based on the pilot balloon here. If the pilot balloon is flat like it is here, that means that the cuff is not inflated. But if the tracheostomy has a cuff, then you know it can be used as an emergent airway. Next, you're going to want to optimize the oxygenation of the patient by putting oxygen on their nose and mouth while you handle what's going on with the trach. The most common cause of respiratory distress in a patient who has a tracheostomy is obstruction of the trach. So the next thing that you're going to want to try and do is suction the trach. As you do this, you want to note whether or not it's easy to pass the red rubber suction. If you can only pass it to a certain you know, point and then you're meeting a lot of resistance, that tells you that there's probably some obstruction. And at this point, you also want to try to just remove the inner cannula. And you might see that it's just completely obstructed with gunk. And now you can also try suctioning again and note whether or not it's easy to pass the red rubber. If it's not easy and you're meeting a lot of resistance, then you know that there's probably an obstruction uh, in the trach that doesn't have to do with just replacing the inner cannula, and you want to make steps towards being able to remove the tracheostomy. At this point, you should really call respiratory therapy and whichever um, medical service placed the tracheostomy in the first place as you prepare to replace the tracheostomy. An obstructed tracheostomy is not going to help you in this case. So the, while you're waiting for somebody to help you with that, you can attempt to bag the patient through the trach. To be able to do this, you want to inflate the cuff. See how the pilot balloon is inflated? Now the cuff is inflated. And you can note as you do this whether or not it's easy to bag them. If it's difficult, that also confirms your suspicion that the tracheostomy is obstructed. But if it's easy, then potentially you fix the situation and their sats will come up. <laughs>